Hey. There's four coals. Four coals. What can you do with that? We're going to smoke cheese. With four coals and that torch. This torch, four coals, some wood chips, fire it up. From the birthplace of American Barbecue, it's great TV time. Jack Waybor is here, three-time South Carolina State Champion. I'm Bill West with BarbecueTricks.com. It's cold. It is cold, and uh, you know, when it gets cold out, we should probably use the weather to our advantage. This, so, is, this is cold, too. Yeah, we're going uh, to smoke some cheese today, Bill, and I think that uh, cold smoking is a great thing to do in the wintertime. You can use the weather to your advantage. Um, you want to make sure that the cooker doesn't get, or your whatever you're cooking with, doesn't get above 90 degrees. Why not just, I mean, why not just throw it on there? The melting point of cheese is somewhere around 90 degrees, so we want to keep the temperature down inside of the cooker so that we don't melt the cheese. It, it, there's some, when you get to these quality of the cheeses right here, there's a little bit of money involved, so you don't want to just melt it on top of the grate. So we want to produce what they call cold smoke. That's a lot for me to grab onto here. I need a, I need a beer. Beer time. We got some time. There you go first. We'll, um, I get the Heineken today? Sure. All right. And so we got four different cheeses. Do you look for different, I mean, hard cheeses, soft cheeses, what? Yeah, hard cheeses are generally better. I chose the, the cheeses that I knew I liked, number one. I have a, here I have a Havarti, and I've heard of smoked Havarti before, so I bought a one that wasn't smoked so I could smoke it because I knew that, it, well, if they're smoking it commercially, then it's probably uh, complimentary to smoke. This is a provolone, and provolone is, is great smoked as well. And I'm thinking this might be good maybe on a, as a topping or maybe on a pizza or something like that. This is a Gouda or a Gouda, depending on how that's you... That's a Gouda. That's a Gouda, depending on how you pronounce it. And, and this is probably the most um, um, common cheese that you see smoked in the case. And then this is a uh, seriously sharp... I just like seriously sharp cheese, and, and, mm -hmm. and they're all fairly dense, hard cheeses, so we know that our melting point's going to be a little bit higher in case the temperature does get up in there a little bit. But it's a nice, cool day, and we're going to go ahead and use the uh, weather to our advantage to kind of keep that smoke down. You can't do this in the middle of the summertime. It's, you, you know, in South Carolina, it's 100 degrees anyway, so we can't really sm cold smoke during the summertime, so we're going to take advantage of the opportunity. As far as prepping it, anything, what do you have to do? Nope, all, I, all you do is open it up. Um, I like to make sure that you have a, a fairly thick cheese. Now, the, the provolone is strong. It's a, very, it's a very strong cheese. But the rest of them I chose a little bit thicker um, because the smoke's going to be on the outside and then it'll be balanced by the unsmoked cheese on the inside. The smoke's not going to penetrate all the way through. Generally, when you see cheeses in the store, they're a little bit darker in color. And I would say that's probably because they use a liquid smoke or something like that sprayed on the outside really? of the cheese. And that makes it makes it uh, tint a little bit. So from your experience, you haven't really, it ha doesn't really get dark. No, it, it, you're not gonna, there's not going to discolor it at all. Um, cheese is uh, normally white when it comes out. Of course, we know it's a milk product. Um, so I don't think we're going to have any problem uh, throwing this right on the grill. So why don't you go it's ahead? It's getting and, too and, cold for my beer, so yeah, we better hurry up. Lift the lid. And oh, just that go smells ahead and, good. What do you? What wood? We're going to use cherry today to smoke. I find hickory and pecan, the normal barbecue smokes, to be just a little bit strong for doing cheese. So I like to back it off a little bit. Apple, cherry, alder are all good uh, uh, smoking cheeses or so, wood smokes for cheeses. And that's your thermometer. Yeah, that's the thermometer. I'm going to use a polder, my ready check right here. And it's going to show me what the temperature is inside the grate. I always use a digital because it gives me a good, accurate, solid reading on what's. And you just want to make the... sure you don't. It it's a certain it doesn't get too warm. It doesn't get too warm. So the te the temperature right now in the cooker is sitting at 75 degrees. That's below our rule of 90 degrees. So go ahead and put them on. We're going to. Yeah, I can feel it slightly warmer, it's maybe. Just but... a little bit warm. And all we're really doing is producing smoke. And when we opened up the show, we were only lighting up four coals, and that's important. We don't want to put a lot of fire in there. And we put the smoking chunks or the smoking chips on it just after we got it lit because we're going to need the, the charcoal to last about an hour. We don't want to smoke cheese for more than an hour. Of course, your your mileage may vary. You may like it. Uh, you may like heavily smoked cheeses. I don't like a really heavily smoked cheese, so I'm going to use the cherry wood, just a couple of chips on there to, to produce the smoke. And I'm going to keep an eye on it. We only have to be here for an hour, so it's not like we're going to be here all day waiting on it. So we can kind of tend to it and watch and that's it. That's where you can get kind of creative with that stuff. Yeah, we can drink our beer too. So about an hour? About yeah. an hour. What are we going to do in that time? 
I don't know, maybe we should uh, look at some grape plates. Let's do that. We actually have some. Grape plates, yummy. Look what Ainsley sent us here. Look at that. That's a beautiful turkey. He writes, a 20 pound Christmas smoked turkey since we just got out of the holidays. Juices were used to make awesome gravy Ooh. in cold central Jersey. I bet that was good. I bet it was cold in Jersey for Christmas too. And he says he smokes meat all year in the backyard. Um, thanks for the grape plate. Remember, if you want to send us grape plates, real easy. Uh, the link right at the top of the, of the homepage, really on all the pages, says submit grape plate. And you can do it on Facebook. Tag us, Instagram, hashtag grape plate. That's it. Yeah, we're looking good on the Facebook page too. I think we're, you know, we're less than 20 hits away from being the 2,000 uh, followers on the Great uh, Great TV uh, on the Great TV Facebook page. We need to get more. And we're gonna so go just go and, and that'll help us uh, build our our show here. I'll tell you what. When you see uh, something come across from Great TV, share it with all your friends. Let them know that we're here. The show is doing great. We're doing great. It's it's just a joy to do it. Share some cheese with them. Where's our... So, we've been smoking the cheese. So, through the miracle of... Uh, this is what we end up with. Through the miracle of television, we have a wonderful cheese plate here that we did. Here's the provolone, the extra sharp, that gouda or gouda, depending on how yeah, you like to yeah. say it, and the Havarti. It turned out great. It looks wonderful. It, it's not discolored at all. Things look fantastic. And I think we should go ahead and uh, bite in here. See yeah, I'll get. eat the paper. I'm hungry enough, so I need to... Choose your weapon. All right, so we'll start with this one. I'm going to have the Havarti, because I really enjoy Havarti cheese. I'm going to put it on a cracker. A little bit of smoke. It's really nice. The cheese is balanced. Just a, just a tiny bit of smoke on there. To give it just a little bit of a extra kick is good. I like a sharper cheese, but whatever you want. This is the seriously sharp right here. I think you'll enjoy that. So the plate comes with, you can try different kinds of cheeses, mm -hmm. different kinds of woods. Biggest rule is just make sure you got, it's cool enough. Yeah, make sure you keep the cold, the temperature down inside your uh, your smoker. The, ch the cheese that we smoked today, the um, cooker never made it over 75 degrees, and I think that's just what we want to be to be able to produce that wonderful flavor that we have going on here right Something now. Something to do during the cold winter months instead of, you know, low and slow for a long time because yeah. you can. One of the cool things about it is every state has a has a cheese maker in it. Of course, the heavily of the cheese regions are California, New England, and um, Wisconsin in that area, but every single state has a cheese maker in it. So you can get your local, most of the cheese, there's about 500 companies out there. Most of them are artisan cheeses, but you'll be able to get the local cheese that you have, throw it in the smoker and make a great uh, make a great dish for a party get together or shoot when you have a long day off of work, nothing better than a glass of wine and a little bit of cheese. And yeah, it hasn't discolored either. Like you said, it might, yeah, we thought it, you see in the store sometimes it's a lot darker. Yep, and I think, like I said, that's from the uh, uh, liquid smoke that they pour over top of the cheese to give it that smoky flavor. Yeah, try smoking some cheese at home. It should be a good wintertime uh, activity for barbecue fans. That's right. Buy local, think global, stay sustainable, and every chance you get, hug your mom.